Hey, how's it? This is going to be a video tutorial on the 2.5D effect using Photoshop and Motion 5 as requested by Uso Lee. Check out his page. It'll be linked in the description. Anyways, uh, what you want is a picture kind of like this one where you can have at least three layers for the effect to be kind of nice. So my first layer will be this rock with this this guy right here. <clears throat> my second layer will be the rocks a little bit further out in the ocean. And then the third layer will be the sky with um, these trees, clouds, and this mountain. So anyways, I'm in Photoshop right now. You want to grab your quick selection tool. <clears throat> Start making selections. So I'll lock this first. So I'm just gonna go grab all these rocks. Uh, if you accidentally grab things that you don't want, like right here, you can just hold the Alt key and it turns into a subtraction tool. So take that out. So I pretty much got my first layer selected. I want to make a copy of it and I'll rename this Uso Lee. Go ahead and create another copy of it. Um, put that underneath, put that copy underneath your foreground layer. You can rename it as your background. So on your foreground layer, you want to eliminate everything else besides the selection. So you'll right click, select inverse, and delete. So now you have your foreground layer. Right, turn that off, go back to your background layer, right click and select inverse again. And then you'll go to edit. Hmm. Then you'll go to edit and fill content aware. Okay, and Photoshop will try and estimate. You did a decent job. Um, take away these dashes. You can see that uh, there's some areas that need touching up. You can just select this tool, spot healing brush. Just go over the areas. Photoshop will take care of it. So, stuff like this you can kind of fix here with the clone stamp tool. You hold Alt to select where you want to clone. And then, drive on. I want these to pretty much just be rocks, so I will clone this here. Okay, that looks pretty close. So I want to select my middle ground which will be these rocks. And we'll do the same thing. We'll create a copy of it. And then this copy middle layer. I will select the inverse again. Delete that. Turn that layer off. Back to your background, select inverse again, we'll do the fill. Alright, that's not really what I was looking for, so what we'll do is uh, we'll take this spot healing tool again just to clean up 
these things. And then we'll do the clone stamp and we'll extend this area of the mountain a little bit below. So this is, I think, good enough for a background. It didn't really fill the whole area, but uh, I'll show you why in motion that's not always um, necessary. You just kind of need your three layers of the picture. So here's our background, the middle layer added, and the foreground. You have your complete picture. Um, you want to save this. Then you want to open up the motion project. I'll make mine for about five seconds. So from here you want to add in your file that you just made from Photoshop. You want to click and drag it and you want to let it hover for a little bit until a menu pops up. You want to import all layers. It's important that you don't import a uh, merge. Um, let's fit this here. So I want to take my Uso Lee, this is my Photoshop here, take it, drag it outside of the group, and delete that group. I want to click this button here to turn on the layers, the 3D, I guess. And I will just go to my properties and fit this better into our picture. All right, so from here, you want to go to Object, Create New Camera, and then you can go to Perspective. Sorry, click this Active Camera, click Perspective. Let it fit in your screen again, and you can rotate it. It's kind of a cool effect. So from here, you want to select your layer, so I'll take the foreground, Usoli, Go to my properties, mess with the Z, so I want to bring him way out front. Maybe about there. And then my mid layer, I want to bring a little bit out front, not as much as my foreground. Go back to your active camera. And that's what you see. Um, now you can play with your X and Y positions. So it looks kind of funny here. So I want to take my foreground. I want to make it a little bit higher. Make my middle layer a little bit lower. Sometimes you know you just gotta let me go. That's fine. Sometimes you know you And then in your camera, go to inspector, you can create keyframes. So I'll do my Z keyframe. This one's the show. Maybe I'll make it sometimes you know you just gotta let things go. There, whatever you can do whatever you want. Depending on your picture. Yeah, 
go to the end, rotate that. Do the same for my Y. My X will do that as well. My keyframe. Then we'll. There you have it. There you have it.